Hi guys! Today we're making the dress for the Anna doll repaint I did a little while ago. This video was inspired by the outfit Anna wears the majority of the time in the Frozen movie. So this is the Anna doll I repainted. I did her on a pretty cheap Elsa inspired doll, which has really weird wonky legs, but the face was the one that fit the best of the character. First day we're going to work on the skirt. Make a stencil by drawing a big circle on a piece of paper where the radius is the length you want the skirt to be and in the middle you cut a small circle that fits the waist of the doll. Then get out some blue fabric, mine has a bit of stretch to it, then you trace your stencil onto it and cut it out. And that's basically the skirt. Then I'm gonna paint on the decorations using acrylic paint, but if you have fabric paint that will be even better. I made this little stencil from paper to help myself get the pattern more symmetrical. Continue this pattern all along the edge and then the skirt is done. Now we're gonna work on the top and we're gonna start by making a foam fitting pattern using some film, a pair of scissors and some tape. Wrap your doll in film on the areas where the top is going to cover and then cover that in the tape. Once that's done, you're going to take a permanent marker and start sketching out the shape of the top and also divide it into sections. Carefully cut on the lines to separate the sections and create the pattern. Then take some black fabric and some fabric chalk and sketch the pieces onto it. Then cut out of the pieces, being sure to leave a seam allowance. Get out needle and thread and start stitching the pieces back together right side to right side. You can pin the pieces together if you want, but I find it easier to sew them when you don't because you kind of have to tweak the pieces to make the lines meet correctly.
and then this is what you should have. Flip it over and cut away any excess at the seams and fix the edges with glue if the fabric tends to fray. Next, fold up the bottom edge and sew it in place for a neat finish. For the top edge and around the arms, I'm just gonna cut away the excess and fix the edge with some fabric glue to make sure it doesn't fray. The reason I didn't fold it over is because I didn't want it to looking too chunky at the top. Put it on the doll and measure out where you're going to make the closing on the back. Get out some velcro and cut some small pieces before sewing or gluing them to the top where they need to be. Then paint on the details using acrylic paint. Once you're happy with the top, you can move on to the blouse she has underneath. I made the pattern pretty much the same way, covering the doll in tape and film, and then sketching out the shape. Sketch it onto the fabric, cut it out, and sew the slits together. I'm aware this is not how you usually make a blouse, but this didn't need much detail since it's going to be underneath the top anyway. Fix the edges with glue. Add velcro to the back and then paint on a line on the top of the acrylic paint to define the color. I made the blouse kind of like a crop top to be sure it wouldn't stick out from under the top, but you can make it full length if you want. And there, now we have her actual outfit, now we just need to make the cape so she can go outside. And yes, I'm aware she doesn't have boots yet, but that's for a future video. For the cape, I drew this oval shape with a slit in the front and a hole in the middle for the head. Sketch it on the fabric and cut it out. The only fabric I could find in the right color was kind of poofy and fluffy when you cut it, which wasn't ideal, but that was all I could find. Put it on the doll and see how much fabric there is excess on the shoulders, sew a line down each side and then cut away the excess. That should make it fit the shoulders better and then you can round up the two front pieces. Then fix all the edges with fabric glue. For the color, I used the alcohol marker to color some white fabric and stuck that onto the edge. Trim the color, then use the same marker to paint on a border.
In the movie, Anna has little beads hanging from this edge, but I chose to go for a simpler look, but you can add beads if you want. Cut out a big piece for the back, fix the edges and also paint on a border. Glue or sew it to the inside of the top piece. A simple way to close it is to take a small bead, sew it to one side of the collar and then sew a small loop to the other. Finally, I glued on these heart shaped studs for decoration. And there we are, that's the whole outfit done. I'm sorry this video was so long on the way, I got sidetracked with seasonal projects, but I will be making a video for her boots really soon, kinda like I did in my Elsa series. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed this project. You can request below if there's any other projects you'd like me to make in the future, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!